Hello, and welcome to the Z Hut. Today, I would like to show you how you can blink an LED with your Arduino without having to use delays in the sketch. Now, the main reason for not wanting delays in the sketch if you wanted a LED blinking is if you were doing something that requires high speed sensing. And what I've done is for this demonstration, I put together a little circuit that has a photo interrupter. And uh, let's just say you're using this for high speed photography. And if you had it set so when it was triggered, ready to go, and the water drop actually went through the photo interrupter while the LED was flashing, it wouldn't take the picture. And uh, that's just one example. There's lots of other uses for this, but that's just one example. So what we're doing, and I'll show you at work here real quick. See, the LED was still blinking. And uh, if we were using the Arduino sketch with delays in there, it would have missed that. It would not have triggered it. So what we're using to do this is a 555 timer. These are super cheap, super common, easy to get a hold of. I mean, everywhere, eBay, Amazon, Geek, Deals Extreme, million other places online. Um, a local electronics store that sells components would have these. I mean, they're going to have boxes of them. These 555 timers are super, super common. And it doesn't take a whole lot of parts to, to set this up. We've got two different little capacitors and uh, two resistors and then just a few jumper wires. And that's how easy it is to set the circuit up. And then I just have it hooked currently... I have the VCC for the uh, 555 timer hook to digital pin 11. So when digital pin 11 goes high, it turns the timer on. Now, there's a couple other connections on here that need to go to the power rail, and you don't have to hook those to pin 11. You can just hook them to power because when the chip doesn't have power to the VCC in, it uh, just won't work. Now, like I said, there's lots of applications where you're doing like high speed for sensing, and this is just one demonstration of it. I'm just using the photo interrupter to demonstrate it. And um, if you would like to check out the schematic for this, um, just look in the description below for the website. And I'll have a schematic on there for this. And uh, also, if you just wanted to hook the 555 timer up as a blinker, you can uh, just look at the data sheet for the 555 timer. And there's several examples on there. And if I do remember right, one of them was for blinking the LED. Uh, another thing, too, you could use this for generating tones. And you can hook this up to make a, with uh, some different capacitors and a different setup. So it makes like a siren where it goes up and down. <clears throat> and uh, then you would not have to use delays and stuff, of course, for tones that you were producing from the Arduino. So that's, and there's another application. You could do tones with it. Uh, and it'd be a variable tone. It'd be a siren like up and down like that but um, yeah that's all there is to it um, I'm not gonna go over the sketch because I, I don't see a point to but I will have a copy of it on the website so if you'd like to check that out you can see right in the sketch there are no delays when the push button is pushed it just digitally writes pin 11 high and then the 555 timer takes over blinking the LED and then when that's tripped yeah the LED goes out. All right. Um, well, if you found this information useful, please give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And uh, make sure you check out my next couple videos I'm going to be putting out. Um, we're going to take this a little further, and we're going to use some uh, logic gates and hex inverters and show you some of the other chips that you can use with your Arduino board uh, to help um, do things that normally would be kind of complicated to do in the, in the programming for the Arduino board. So uh, make sure you check those out. Um, just uh, go to my website and look under the Arduino Projects tab. And uh, you'll find those. And I'll be getting my next video I should have up tomorrow or the next day. So with that, thank you for joining us here at the Z-Hut today. Have a great day and have fun building.